y'all welcome to welcome back to my channel my name is the love for the people that don't know and if you do know me what is popping so basically as y'all can tell by the title this is a tutorial on how i put this wig on and it's also a review about this wig so i got this wig from premium lace wigs it was really affordable it was like 45 dollars for this um 14 inch plus um shipping which was like 25 dollars this isn't my first time opening this wig i have the uh, install on this hair before so that's why this stuff is not in here <laughs> but let's see it came like a makeup bag two cute little makeup bag and it also came with like two clips uh, just a strap if you uh, want to put that on to make it the glueless wig and it also came with like a comb and all that good stuff when i first opened up the wig the first time i installed it i washed it and it did shed but it's curly hair so it's bound to shed like all curly hair shed like even my natural curly hair shed i did bleach it you don't have to bleach it if you don't want to it was already pre-plucked but i did pluck it because i just like plucking it on my own to make it look more natural but um yes i do recommend getting this hair hey y'all so basically i'm just showing y'all the wig right here after i washed it i have uh drew like a guideline of where i want my wig to lay now i'm just taking my guys to be gel i be want to say glue so bad but my guys to be gel and i'm taking my blow dry on cool setting drying that until it's tacky gonna go in with my got to be free spray just to make it more secure uh, I feel like my wigs last longer when I use both the gel and the spray and then I'm gonna go back with my blow dryer on cool setting dry it until it's tacky and then place my wig on so right here I'm placing my wig behind the line you don't want it to be on the line uh, because you want to uh, wipe the line off once you get done putting your wig on so basically I'm using my fingers to rub on the lace I don't like when my hair stick to the lace so I'm trying to rub on the lace as much as possible I'm taking my gossip be a uh, free spray on this side because um, it had dried a little bit already and then I want to take my comb and I'm combing the hair up so that it won't stick to the lace while I'm combing I'm using the teeth of the comb to push the lace down if that makes any sense Now I'm using the uh, end of the comb to just lay the lace flat. And I'm gonna do the same thing over again. Just hold the lace with my finger, make sure that I'm pressing the lace on the uh, glue, and I mean the gel, and then I'm gonna take this got to be free spray to lay the edges of the lace down. So right now I'm just cutting this excess lace off. Um, any lace that you don't lay down, like, you know, glue down or whatever, you do need to take it off. I mean, you know, well, I prefer to take it off, but you don't have to take it off. You do whatever you want to do, but I do cut my lace because there's no point in just having like lace that doesn't have hair on the lace on your face, on your hair, basically. <laughs> And basically this is, uh, I do want to tell y'all that this lace is the light brown lace. It's not the dark brown, I got the light brown lace. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Cut the, uh, the extra hair and the extra lace off so that it'll look more natural instead of having like lace and hair flapped over my ear clothes. And when you cut the hair and the lace, you are gonna cut some pieces of hair. So, you know, just comb it out, take it out, it's fine. So now I'm gonna take the Gossip Bee uh, Gel and I'm gonna comb my hair out of the way because you want your lace to stick to your face. I mean, I mean not your face but like your head your skin instead of the instead of your hair because you don't want your hair to come out and I'm gonna just uh, spray that again with the free spray blow dry it on a cool setting and press the lace down with the end of my comb again
so in this uh, part of, at this part of the video you can tell what I'm basically doing I'm um, just combing the hair so that it won't you know combing the hair up so that it won't stick to the lace because you don't want well I'm not gonna say you don't want but I don't like when my hair is stuck to the lace and then I'm using the back of the comb to push the lace down I'm basically showing y'all that uh, the process is almost done and that the wig is secure so I'm gonna part it uh, next doing a middle part I like middle parts with this wig uh, it makes it look like my natural hair because I am curly up on this wig <laughs> so basically right here I'm just gonna get the uh, two straps at the back adjustable straps and I'm gonna connect those and I didn't cut the lace so I just took the lace under the two straps right here I'm taking my lot of body uh, wrap lotion just to make the hair like wet a little bit because you don't want to brush or comb curly hair if it's not wet and then I'm gonna take my mane and tail hair dressing it's kind of like a grease you don't want to use too much because you don't want your hair to be just like greasy oily and all that I use this kind of like the uh, stick that people be using to make like the flyaway pieces of hair stay down that's basically what I use this for and to give the curly hair like some moisture so I'm gonna work on these baby hairs. I did overpluck, as y'all can tell, y'all see the ball spot. <laughs> I did overpluck, but I'm gonna finesse these baby hairs to where you can't even tell that your girl overplucked the wig. <laughs> So I'm taking my uh, Lotta Body Foam Lotion and my Got To Be Gel and I'm going to lay my baby hairs down and I use both of those products because the Got To Be Gel is too hard, you know, to put on your baby hair. Like it dry and I don't like how it dry hard so the Lotta Body kind of gives it like a soft texture instead of just like hard crispy edges. You don't want no crispy edges. So right here, I'm taking my um, Black Radiance Pressed Powder. You can get this from Walmart, whatever shade you want. Uh, this shade was too light for me, so I am gonna take like my foundation and just put that on my edges. So this is where I go in using my foundation to make it uh, blend better so it won't be too light because you don't want your lace to be too too light and the people can tell like where your lace is you want it to blend in with the rest of your forehead so get your foundation and blend it in boo. Right now I'm just taking my foam lotion again same water body foam wrap lotion and I'm just going to use that to make it wet a little bit. And I'm gonna use the uh, same mane and tail hairdressing uh, conditioning stuff to put like basically I focus it more on the ends of my hair because that's where it get frizzy. Of it. Then I'm gonna take my denim brush, brush those curls out. I'm gonna wrap my hair up after this while I do my makeup, and yeah, that's basically it. So basically, I am back. I don't let my um durex it on for like long enough for me to do my makeup so now i'm gonna take it off and let y'all see what it's looking like up under here so i'm looking a little little red right at me right now <laughs> just gonna take my fingers and fluff it out a little bit Yes, baby, come through premium lace. Let me wipe this stuff off my hand. I've been doing my makeup and I got stuff all on the back of my hand. So let me wipe this stuff off. I'm just gonna take my hand and like bring the hair up without like digging on top of it, fluffing it out, giving it some little volume or whatever. I'm natural. And like when I wore this wig the first time, everybody was like, girl, is that your hair? I'm like, no, it is not. <laughs> it looks so good. It feels good. 
it's good for the price like literally so you can wear it up you can wear it however you want to wear you can put it behind your ears you can do ponytail you can do all of that but like this middle part i've been digging it and i was digging my middle part when i first wore it so middle part and side parts is what i wear if y'all like this be sure to like comment and subscribe if you new and you like me my content and my personality and all that make sure you subscribe to the kid like show the girl some love um this is my first time doing like a wig review so i might be back because i like making wigs i like coloring hair i like wearing wigs i like all of that because i'm into everything even though i'm not a cosmetologist i'm into doing hair beauty makeup dressing up fashion all that type of stuff so this is basically it Y'all can't tell me this wig ain't popping. Like, y'all cannot tell me that this wig, affordable wig, is, it, is not popping. Like, baby girl. <laughs> That's it. I'm not going to keep y'all any longer. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more wig um, videos. Me, you know, bleaching the knots. Because I did bleach the knots, even though it was okay. I could have dealt with not bleaching it, but. Yeah, if y'all want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. Be blessed.